Thank you for calling. I mean, if you want to see a doctor today, you can give us a call back at 12 o'clock for an afternoon appointment. Uh, yeah, I'll do that, yeah. You know, just in a small car collision. The wall. Uh, insert clip. Yeah. I have wanted to film this video for the longest time. You guys don't even understand how long it's been. I feel like I want to make this video because this is me. This is me. This is me. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. If you're new, hi, I'm Lydia. Today, we are going to be discussing the wonderful subject of BPD and paranoia. Though, interesting fact, the terminology wise, paranoia within borderline personality disorder is also known as paranoid ideation, which is what I'm going to be referring to it as in this video. So, before we get into the facts of the video, let me give you three of my biggest paranoia thoughts that I have. One is someone breaking into my flat. Two, getting attacked by people from my past that also interlinks with my trauma. And the one that's the biggest and jumps out hugely with this mental health condition, BPD, and this goes so well together because it's literally the definition. The fear of people judging me. I am paranoid about people making judgment and abandoning me and leaving me. So everyone who has called me paranoid, I agree. I know I'm paranoid. I don't need people to tell me that. So with that in mind, let's jump into some facts because factual video, video trying to be a good content creator. It's not happening though, is it? Paranoid ideation is something that most most people with this condition will experience at some point in their lives. Not everyone, not saying everyone will, but most people, and this is proved by a scientific study. It's one of the nine possible things to have on the diagnostic criteria. So you have to have five different things out of this list of nine to be diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Just because it's paranoid does not mean it's false. I think that's a big one to point out. Yes, you might be paranoid, that doesn't mean what you're paranoid about isn't true. And I feel like that's an important thing. I think people often think paranoia goes with things all being false and incorrect and not right. Sometimes people are paranoid for a reason and it pays off. Paranoid about getting attacked and then they get attacked. Like it's irrational. It's a rational feeling. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. To end this video off, I'm going to give a few coping skills for paranoia because I thought, well, told you all the things about it. May as well give you some coping skills as well rather than making that into a separate video, which is what my initial idea was. So the best thing I could do whenever I'm paranoid is I do this thing that's on like the wise mind spectrum. You know that is it's here. Um it's a thing you're taught in DBT. Um rational thinking and irrational thinking and I try and use that in two circles basically. I try and use that to evaluate what I'm thinking and see if it makes sense, see if it fits the situation. Is it just paranoia? Is it rational paranoia or is it just irrational and it shouldn't be in my head? Another, and another amazing thing you can do to cope with this is think about how someone else would think about it. So for me, I'd be like, let's think how Becca, I don't know Becca is, she's my girlfriend. Um, me and, so I think, how would Becca view this? Would it be rational in Becca's mind? And often than not, the answer is no. If you want to see more videos with me, me and Becca, it's linked there. I hope I'm pointing the right way. I think I am. Another good way of managing paranoia, or if you want to get help with paranoia, is writing it down, showing it to someone, and asking them what their opinion is of it. Make sure to include context though, because context is important. Always. <laughs> context is always important. And the last little coping skill I've got is any mindful activity. So yoga, deep breathing, the eye style of thing, though I wouldn't recommend that if you have either cardiac meds or are under cardiology. That's one of the two main things. I'll try and find a leaflet on it later. If not, I'm gonna try and put the warning stuff. I hope it's there. But some yoga, mindfulness, meditating, any kind of mindful flag. And with that, I'm gonna end the video here. Though if you do have any questions or have any video ideas or suggestions or something you wanna ask me, let me know in the comments down below. And if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. The next goal is 6K, guys. Can we get there? that we can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. This is more me. End of scene. Anyone just get the joke, I'm a film production student, but it's kind of where I have this.